Could that jog around the block build stronger bones? A new study took a look at how running for even one minute a day might make an impact for women. And family physician Dr. Rob Danoff is here this morning with more on this research and what can be, uh, we can all learn to improve bone health. You know, my work wife here is a runner. I Dr. know. Rob knows. Yeah, which, which is the best? Run, Rahel, run. Uh, she has the strongest bones of all of us, I'm sure. Here's well, what helping. does this study show? Well, so there's about 2,500 women, and what it showed is that brief, intense burst of weight bearing activity, running for one to two minutes a day for the time period, mm. increases bone strength. Now, they have to look at more of that over time, okay. but it reinforces the fact that our bones to be healthy, need some weight-bearing activity. So, Jim, you dance all the time, right? I do. I'm a professional dancer. <laughs> there you yes. go. Dancing and walking, you know, running, going up and down stairs. Those are weight-bearing activities. In other words, we need to be more active, and okay. that keeps our, bon our bones healthy and strong. Hmm. So, Dr. Rob, when we talk about bone health, we also often talk about osteoporosis, which is more common in women. What do we need to know, and who's at risk? Well, you know, it's a silent disease. Often, we don't know our bones are weakening until the first fracture. In fact, one in two women and one in four men over the age of 50 are at risk of a fracture of right. their bone, a broken bone. So what do we need to know? We need to make sure we take healthy behaviors to keep our bones healthy and strong. And we were talking about younger women. Should right. they be, uh, you know, involved in this? And absolutely, when you're young like you, you want to bank bones. You want to do healthy behaviors, weight-bearing activity, eat foods that are rich in calcium and vitamin D, and that's really healthy for our bones. Our bones are actually living tissue. We need to do healthy behaviors for it. Well, Build speaking it of that, is, is calcium key then here? Because like my mom's older, you a strong breeze and she'll break something. I mean, she just has brittle bones. Oh, it's really bad. I mean, spine fractures and hip fractures is terrible. So what you want to do is eat, eat healthy. I'm not a big proponent of taking supplements. Okay. I would rather you eat fish and dark green leafy vegetables mm -hmm. and fortified foods with you need calcium but vitamin D also mm -hmm. vitamin D helps you absorb the calcium so it's about eating right don't have colas that leaches the bones okay. people mm -hmm. who smoke it's not good so healthy behavior so we need to talk to our doctors when we need to be tested to make sure our bones are strong and dr. Rob is that advice the same depending on no matter the age so if you're young you're doing the same if you're older you're doing the same or does it vary depending on your age it does vary so when we're young like you guys we want to do healthy behaviors but age 65 and above for women we want to test our bones called the DEXA scan okay. but if we have risk factors for smokers we drink too much alcohol we sit a lot we're yeah. inactive we want to get our bone strength checked at age 50. So it's really important to talk to our doctors about our bones, what we can do to keep them strong, because you don't want a fracture. I mean, people get fractures of the spine. It causes a lot of pain. Mm. So we can try to reduce that risk or prevent it by doing healthy behaviors for our bones. I'm telling you, we got to keep her healthy. She's got to push me around in the wheelchair in a few years. Oh, you're going to be active all your life. No, you two are so no. good. But yeah. what you're doing with your running and your activity and the way you eat healthy is the best thing to do. It's natural, and you're going to have strong bones for the rest of your life. And then as we get a little bit older, we want to take behaviors and do what you do mm. to keep ourselves healthy and strong. And quickly, Dr. Rob, before we let you go, better, you'd say, if you're younger and you have the opportunity to build your bones now, better to do it now mm -hmm. than to wait and then have to deal with maybe, you know. I call it a bone bones. savings account. When you're young like you, do healthy behaviors because you can build up your bone strength up to age 30 and 35, and that will serve you well for your later years. And that's yeah. exactly what you're doing. Great Dr. advice, Rob. Dr. Rob. Always good advice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome.